so uh, today basically the class on the basic things required for you before understanding the coding you should know the basic things what is run time what is compile time to initiate the coding so just i am initiating today's class today's agenda will be all people here talk about gcc and uh, it's internal but no one knows what actually gcc does you know that this is used for compiling the code so is gcc is such a compiler or is lots it's more than that second tool chain what is tool chain what is compiler what is object code what is executable to code and other things as mentioned in the screen you can see it let's initiate with uh, this side my page is coding for all if uh, my name is abhinav tiwari you can follow me on my to know more about me you can go to my linkedin page and instagram i will share this ppt in the group we have you can see from there now let's initiate with the gcc before initiating with the gcc i want to ask you all people what do you understand by gcc when you say that i am writing hello.c program and compiling it with gcc what that gcc is can anyone say me what this is compiler this is a compiler or is more than that sir it's the collection of compiler collection of compiler and uh, what you are saying that oh, compiler okay let we will discuss more about what is compiler is so first of all what gcc is gcc if we uh, it, it consists of three words gcc simply it's a gnu compiler collection what is gnu i will discuss further compiler collection of gnu is a gcc what that gnu is what is gcc a popular compiler from the gnu project that is used in linux and unix environments whenever you are using linux and unix you will go through the gcc or a gnu compiler collection now the question arises what is gnu let's move on that gnu gnu is nothing but we all know that unix was the first operating system and uh, lots of people taken inspiration from from unix and developed their own tool chain and different things related to the os richard stallman was a person who was working with a uh, making of operating system but he don't want like unix things he has created something not like it was taken inspiration from the unix but it was not unix so he made this os name as g not unix which is known as gnu so gnu is nothing but a operating system concept developed by the richard stallman so whenever we are talking about gcc gcc is a compiler collection for gnu now the question arises why richard stallman want the things to be done for example are you things you see windows you see different os solaris is this all the operating system come we have to pay for it whatever version you are using in the market of them it's a cracked version if you want the operating system authenticated operating system you have to pay the money from your end but he want richard stallman everything should be free so that uh, no one can charge you money for that he do, he was from that inspiration he started g not unix uh, operating system in that g not unix operating system they have included the features such as gcc g++ compiler debugger and etc so it's a free there is no copyright but programmer protected by gpl licenses for example in software things what happen whenever i am coding something and uh, whenever i am doing coding and uh, what i want i want people to uh, take my things they have to purchase license they require my proof to use those things so gpl is just a license required for running your gnu tool chain and it was also free general public license implements now what is come to our main question what is gcc it's a tool chain or a compiler before answering whether something is tool chain or compiler we should know what is mean by tool chain and what is mean by compiler do you agree yes sir yes sir 
so let's go through first initiate with tool chain a tool chain means nothing tool means for example you have a uh, you have a a repair person he have lots of tool screw driver uh many things he consist of you can also think of some name uh crocodile clips sc screw driver and range. all range and all the things he he has everything with him for fixing your room but there may be chances that two types of tools people who build there who have kept them separately but there may be chance he, what he will do he will keep all his tool in a set of box which he will call a tool toolbox similarly in operate uh, in software designing tool chain is nothing but a set of software which are consist of development tool what all the things you are required for the development that software is known as tool chain when they are placed at one place for example your gcc gcc consist of compiler interpreters loader linkers libraries so it's a tool chain to develop something to compile your source code to the intermediate representation to the executable code so gcc is a tool chain tool chain for example you are running a any software with the name of turbo c in your college or any other software with the name of a visual studio code or something else all there you are using what set of tool to perform some task so that set of tool is known as tool chain so you can see here basic definition of tool chain a tool chain is a set of distinct software development tools that are linked together by specific stages means they should be linked with each other are you people understanding what i'm saying yes sir yes sir yes i understand now just answer me what is gcc a compiler tool chain or a gnu tool chain gnu tool chain yes sir gnu tool chain and what is gnu sir gnu is a linux no no gnu is a operating system developed by the richard stallman which is taken inspiration from unix but it's not unix it simply means g not unix gnu is a operating system which means g not unix what it mean it is a operating system which is developed by richard stallman and uh, it takes inspiration from unix and it is not unix yes for example uh, for example i have taken inspiration from a any brigade bodybuilder so i have given my name for example he's arnold then arnold r n u arnold sorry my name is abhinav they have given name a n u abhinav not arnold a n a similarly he has given a g n u name like uh, i have taken inspiration from you but i am not you in that sense okay have you got it yes sir so now move forward now the second question arises what is compiler so here people can you define me till now what you know about compiler because something more surprising is coming sir compiler is like a dictionary uh, which uh, uh, which collects all the information and gives to us anybody sir, compi mm -hmm. compiler wo, wo ह्यूमन कोड को मशीन कोड में चेंज करता है ह्यूमन कोड को मशीन कोड में चेंज करता है समवन एल्स यस कंप्यूटर सो इट्स अ कंप्यूटर सॉफ्टवेयर दैट ट्रांसलेट्स सोर्स कोड रिटन इन हाई लैंग्वेज इनटू अ सेट ऑफ मशीन लैंग्वेज ओके इन इन 0101 फॉर्मेट ओके सो व्हाटएवर टिल नाउ पीपल पीपल नो दैट compiler is something which is used to translate the thing from one language to another language am i correct yes sir 
what is so a compiler is a software that convert a program written in high level language to the low level language now the question is does compiler do it alone it doesn't require any supports no idea about that okay let's discuss with some example Let's make a C code, right? You include what for shutter file? Okay, what it will give output? What this code will give output? Welcome to the coding for all. Okay. Don't worry, I will teach you all this thing, even how to write a. If you will see, what is the type of file out? You will say that it's saying that it's a ELF, sixty-four bit, dynamic link interpreter. it is using this linker for gnu linux not stripped this is what this file is our output file name is out right if i will give file command to hello.c it will say that it is a c code so simply file command is used to check what type of file you have in unix like operating system similarly what is saying it's a elf 64 bit that's a different part i don't want to show you that but uh you know that what you people till now know that compiler convert high level language to low level language and he used to translate this thing right basically what compiler do compiler emits object code from your source code and now the question arises what is the object code see whatever we have this file out when i will execute it it will run and it will give output as welcome to coding for all yes sir this file is known as executable file this file is known as executable file in linux and portable executable in windows now the question arises what does compiler do so what i will do i will give a flag minus c minus o okay not even minus o then also hello dot c you will see that a dot file is generated right um see here you can see any dot you can see only two file are there right hello yes sir i can see there is hello dot c and out yeah what is that ls i didn't understand what i will what? i will teach you this thing basic things of the unix operating system uh, in different class so just do, don't focus on these things uh, i will teach you differently so basically just my main motive is to give you the that agenda once you will understand that in next upcoming class i will teach you both all the your things related for the development what you people require bash scripting C, C plus plus, all the thing. Don't worry for that. Yes. So, I am just giving a flag minus C, and here what I am using hello dot C, right? So when I will press enter, what you will see there is a dot o file, right? Yes, sir. Dot o file is generated. Yes. You can't open it. It will. You won't understand what it is. so how you can there is a now hello dot c you can just uh, do one thing 
you can convert it see all at last everything goes inside machine as a machine language not as a compiler when i will teach you the different stage of the pre processing i will talk about this thing in much detail but i just i want to show what the object code is see that out full cons out file consists of this thing so our program was main right what uh, we have written uh code see here this is our main function you can see some machine instructions yes sir push move and le yeah, yeah these are the machine instruction is consist of yes now now just uh, use this uh, i will dump the no wait i have not well this is a no not see see here here what happened your consist of some definition your main not here this is your main function right it yes. means consist of something basic things which you have written in object for but if i will go to the elf here you will see that now the main definition has little bit change it's calling here putes you were putes you are calling printf function right yes so it's a logical it should call putes uh -huh. or printf and here you will see that it's what here it's main plus 14x main plus 14 it's something what is this known as this is known as samples okay so basically compiler work is to give you object code what compiler work is to give object code yeah whenever it's a very basic answer whenever somebody will ask you what compiler is you people will say that compiler translate one from machine level to the high level language to the low level language or so basically but the reality is that compiler generate object code it's a executable have what that object code is i am defining you in future see compiler we are talking about compiler have three things front end intermediate representation and back end front end means the place from where we are taking the source code as a input then it convert into a intermediate form which is known as object for code or ir and it back end means when we are running it on hardware what are the things required so you will see that compiler at, at top level front consist of front end intermediate representation and back end it index source code bit code or object code and executable faces of compiler analysis and synthesis part means front end is also known as analysis phase back end is also known as synthesis phase synthesis front end means what happen in front end your source code your all things such as error detection syntax semantics blah blah things what if makes error in the compiler the logics how you are running the code it accumulate into one code or one form is known as object code and once once you come to the object code then what happen linker you people are aware about linker that 
object code search definition or, or uh, their symbols in the object code. Then uh, if you will see that what is the object code, an object file contain compiled code from one source, but it is not ready to run. Here what happened when I will try to run this object code, hello.o is what? If you will see hello.o, it will say that it's a relocatable file. Relocatable file means object file. Okay. So when you write hello.o, it's a relocatable file. But when you will run it, it will say permission denied. If I will even go give the bit permission, what is saying? Exec format error. Exec means executable format error because hello.o is not executable. It's an object file. Object file cannot be run. Okay. Yes. So object file what con they con consist of a compiled code from one source code, but it cannot be ready to run. What is consist of then? You have seen that it at this place. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I open it or or okay I'm open it here see this one main plus 14 this is what 14 is this is known as external symbols object code consists of external symbol when uh, where you have to find what they have to do but for that purpose it should have linker linker come and search these things when you are calling main plus 14 then linker will come in the picture and it will search for it that's why it was so not you, running. You linker little bit. Uh, I will discuss in next class about linker. Just keep in mind the terminology. Okay. Now, what is executable code? Executable code is output after linker processing. So whenever you are run anything from GCC, there are two things happening. One, it is compiling and second, it is linking. Compiling phase and linking phase. Okay. Okay. Two things are happening. One is the compiling and linking phase. This together, I will. When you generate object code, the object till the object code generation, it's all called a compilation phase. And after that, what things happen? It's known as linking phase. What this means? For example, you have you have. I will teach you much in detail. Don't get confused if you are not able to understand right now because. Uh, it's uh, just a base creation. If you're not able to get right now, you can get it in the future. On next Saturday, I will when I state, uh, initiate the compiler phases, then you will easily get this terminology. Okay. Yeah. So what is executable? The things which can be, which you can run standalone is known as executable. Standalone means it doesn't require anything else. It is independent. Yeah. For example, a dot out file which I was running. Yeah. For example, here uh, dot slash a dot file. Welcome to coding for all. It doesn't require anything, right? Yes. It is executing perfectly. So it is known as executable. Yeah. Sir, execute, executable, executable file means uh, we have break that link. No, executable file means which can be run alone. They don't require anything else means they don't have any link no they have link but they have along with link they have definition of it where they are object code just have references where they are but they they can't go there executable have references and they can even go there yes they have their own definition yes oh. see a machine code file can be immediately exhaustible, runnable, required linking with other object code files to produce complete executable program. For example, when you 
have you has you included has included assure dot h right you have printf definition in assure dot h hmm. i will explain you more clearly see you are using printf and you are here you are including assure dot h whenever you make a uh, this printf definition here you are call uh, you are calling printf here but its definition is where inside su dot h what had uh, till compilation phase printf will only have uh, their references external symbol references but while linking phase they will actually go go and check in library inside su dot h whether that printf is there to run it and they will attach it to your code so what is the object code and executable code sequence of statement in binary that is generated after compiling is known as object code it cannot run on machine executable code instruction which are directly executed by cpu is known as executable code it can run on machine now a lot of people here are you people uh, understand it or i should explain it more clearly hello Yes, sir. Minus D. Should I move forward, or you have any question? Hello. Yes, sir. You can move forward. Okay. Just tell me what you understand by object code till now. just to give an idea what you understood about object code so that i can move forward with confidence yeah, that you understood object code uh, has last has an extension dot o and mm -hmm. cannot uh, it is not uh, prepared to run yes uh, and uh, it's an intermediate code which is uh, between executable executable code and uh, what we say uh, the code we have written earlier yes source code Yes. Then we can use source code and executable code. Mm -hmm. And that's all. And what if anybody right now if ask you what compiler do as a computer science engineer, uh, you should not say that it should translate from high level language to the low level language. You should say that compiler takes source code as input and trans translate into the object code. What is object code? Or Ob object code? What you have to say? You can say it consists of the symbols, external linkages from the for the symbol table which i will introduce after some days because you won't get what symbol table is right now just keep in mind there is a terminology known as symbol table which terminology sir symbol table symbol table symbol table can you write it s y m b o l table chair symbol table yeah okay. and uh, and what is executable code basically what compiler generate ex object code and when compiler and linker come together in a picture they create executable code why these things is there i will let you know in future classes just keep in these things in mind so that it will be easy for you to understand next lecture what is this what is executable code you have till right now understood Code which uh, is uh, prepared to be executed is known as executable. Executable. Yeah, which can execute standalone. In yes. Linux OS is known as executable. In Windows it is known as portable executable. Yes. Yeah. For example, you have out dot exe file. C C. Portable executable. Yeah, in Windows Windows OS. Windows and OS. Another OS. Okay. Uh, Windows is operating system, Unix is operating system. In Unix operating system, Linux operating system, or their different types of OS, which are taken inspiration from the Unix, they all are known as this code, which can run out independently as executable code. But in OS Windows, they are known as portable executable. Sir, in other OS, same name, same name. Same name. Oh, I think there are all. Yeah, in Windows only portable executable, else executable. yeah 
now uh, should i move forward See uh, what you mean by compile time. Means how much time compiler does take to compile? Mm -hmm. Sir, compile time, uh, sir. Code ko machine code me convert करने में जितना time लगता है उसको compile time करते हैं. सही है आज सही है सही बोले हम. जितना हम. By the compiler to convert source code to करेक्ट कंपाइल टाइम इज पीरियड वन द प्रोग्राम सच एस सी इज कन्वर्टेड टू द मशीन कोड सो मच यू पीपल अंडरस्टूड इट इजिली एंड वॉट इज रन टाइम रन टाइम कंपाइल टाइम के बाद होता है और इसमें रन टाइम इज अस्टम यूज सॉफ्टवेयर सी आई एम रनिंग हेलो डॉट सी द टाइम वेन कंपाइलर टेक फ्रॉम दिस पीरियड आफ्टर प्रेसिंग एंटर टू क्रिएट दिस ए डॉट आउट फाइल इज नोन एज कंपाइल टाइम वेन आई विल रन दैट फाइल द टाइम टेकन बाई कंपाइलर टू गिव द आउटपुट From when I will execute this file is known as runtime. Yes. And what is mean by build environment? You know that. What now? Just define me. What if anybody ask you what compiler do? What people you people is going to say? Sorry, sir. Please repeat it. If anybody ask you what is compiler do? What people you people is going to say? What compiler do? So it take uh, input from source code mm -hmm. and convert into object code. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because everyone say translate, but uh, problem is that there are two things come inside translation. One is the part of compiler, and one is a linker and loaders. That's a different part, but just know about compiler. And one more question: What is GCC? GCC is an operating system. No, no, GNU is an operator system. GNU is an operating system, not GCC. Yeah, uh, GCC is GNU compiler collection of compiler. Yeah, basically you can say a GNU free compiler compiler collection. GNU based compiler. Yeah, yeah. And what is a tool chain? Tool chain. For example. Set of software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Development software for better word. Yeah, you should use your yes, word sir. precisely. Yeah, development set. For example, I am a doctor. I required stethoscope. I required temperature checking things. I required other uh, first aid kits. What I will do? What things? Depending upon the patients, I required some different different kits. So. All the things required by doctor, they will keep in a separate box, and they will call as first aid box. Similarly, in case of software, for different development environment, we require different set of software tools. That software tools known as tool chain. Togetherly. And now it is build. Whenever I say that, whenever I write GCC hello dot C, we are not compiling it. We are building it. What we are doing it? we are building ah uh, building it means compiling and linking together what we are doing compiling and linking together yes so building environment building a program is nothing but uh, compiling and linking your program together is known as building whatever till now you say that we are compiling and actually you are not compiling it you are compiling it as well as linking it so together they are called as building a program what they are called as building a program yeah 
So what is building a program? Process by which source code is converted into standalone form that can be run on computer or to the form itself is known as building a program. Building means compiling plus linking. See, after translation is done, what happened? There are something which is target specific things. You have translated a language, but for running a language, there must be a target specific. For example, different people understand different language. So what happened? If I will say something in English, it will translate it in blah, blah things in Hindi. If it got translated in Hindi, but it may be possible that the way it is translated in Hindi, people can't understand. So we required what some grammar checkups and the way should we should arrange the word so that it is easily understood by the people who are understanding Hindi. After translation, whatever these things are required to people to make understand by the target, it is done by the linker. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, now the class is finished. So this is my email ID. If you have any problem, you can ask here. And any question, I will share this slides PPT in the group we have. Sir, uh, what is the GNU about? Uh, uh, I didn't get about GNU. Okay, GNU. Okay, yeah. I think you are not in, in the study of the class, or maybe. See, what is GNU? GNU means you know that what is Unix is the operating system, Linux is the operating system, Windows is the operating system, Solaris is the operating system. But Richard Stallman was a person who was developing operating system. But his aim was to develop a free software so that he can distribute to all your people without any cost. Because at that time, software cost for operating system was very high. And no one want only the people of academy can research was able to use the you were you able to use the operating system, not for the common person. So he he has taken inspiration from Unix. For example, if I want to do something, for me there is something as inspiration. Like uh, if you want to become a bodybuilder, either Arnold or uh, Hugh Jackman, many people who are working this profession, rock. Anyone can be your inspiration. If you want to be a good actor, you will either uh, follow in that sense. If you want to be a good software, you software developer, you will have that different inspiration. But you will not be the same as them. You may take inspiration from them, but you are not working the same way they are doing. But you may take their ideas how they are doing the things. So similarly, what happened? Richard Stanley has taken his all the things development for the GNU OS from Unix operating system. So he name as GNU. GNU means it's just a simply a full from G not Unix. Means it's not Unix, but it's taken inspiration from that. For example, if I have my name is Abhinav, I have taken inspiration from Arnold. In his sense, if I want to make my name ANU, ANA I will make Abhinav not Arnold. So he has just made GNU not Unix. GNU, G not Unix as operating system name. For more information, there is a link. You can visit that to know for these things. Okay. Any more question anybody has? Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, uh, once uh, uh, that converts, I want to ask that uh, the translation of uh, uh, object code uh, from source code to object code is uh, is the, is also can also be called as process of compilation. See, when you talk about process, see there is two things in a picture. As a beginner, when you see a compiler, you see compiler as a big boss. It which just you give source code and gives you output a dot out file and you run it. But when you go in much and much and detail, you will see that comp there is lots of black magic happening inside compiler things are going inside but you will not able to understand why this thing is happening so if you want to understand anything if you any for if you are good in math then for under doing basic integration calculation what do people do you take a small part then integrate it then take it integrate it that's how you solve a big problems take a small part of it and solve it similarly if i am talking about gnu or a compiler then compiler is also a big software Inside it, it may have different several phases. 
so but when that actual part of compiler come in a picture it is taking the source code but it doesn't emit you output file a dot out it will gives you a object code after object code there are lots of thing happen for the target specific when i say target specific means for different machine different thing it will happens which take care by the linkers have you understood akhilesh yes sir sir then what is the if uh, if the object code is converted to machine code with the help of compiler no no object code will be converted to the machine code with the help of linker not with the compiler okay yeah this complete process is known as build process whenever you run gcc hello.c minus o out you will get output file that output file is known as executable and that executable the process is known as build process that build process inside is divided into two part one phase is for compilation generation of object code and second is for the linker linking phase which is known as a which is done by the linker which is known as linking i will go in much detail when i will discuss with about you how the simple dot c file in your system flow in my next class because it's hard it's taken more than 40 minutes so i don't want to people to uh, don't enjoy a weekend also <laughs> there is no problem sir you can take one on yeah but uh, you may be uh, good but not all people okay jackson uh, are you able to get what i said in the class hello jackson brother Ab, uh, uh, I am taking Abhimanyu. Have you understood the things what I said? Yes, sir. Aditya is okay. Agrit, Agrit, have you understood the thing? Excellent. Mic is not working. Yeah, yeah. Agrit. Hello, Agrit. I think he just leave the mobile alone. Okay. Uh, Godwin, Godwin, what? How can I pronounce your name, bro? Suzanne. Hello. Okay, no problem. Maybe, yeah. Have you understood what I said in the class? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, program understood. Okay, okay. You can ping me uh, on nine one nine eight six seven nine zero four seven if you have any doubt. I will add to the my group of the WhatsApp so that uh, you can join it whenever the class is going on in future. Okay. Yeah. Hey Jackson, now your mic is working, or you are not there. Jackson is not in the meeting. Okay, I think left. Okay, then bye bye. Take care. If you have any doubt, you can ping me any time. Okay sir bye 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 sir love you sir